guys, it's me. Welcome back to Ruby XOXO Xavier. Look! Okay, I really want to apologize to you guys because I have not been updating. I only update like when was it like two weeks ago for when I was walking when I was walking to go to my school and I really want to apologize that I have not been doing that I have not been vlogging a lot because I have so much high school so much wait what so much homework that I that I get from all my teachers and it's really difficult and it's a lot to do and like I be staying up late for it. Like I'm always staying up late until like eleven fifty nine to finish my homeworks that I do. And I'm been also been kinda of busy too because I have joined a hip hop dance and I stay there until five thirty and school ends around three twenty three twenty five. And yeah, and I apologize for my hair. My hair never wants to stay put it's over it's always all over the place but anyways today i had decided to make a makeup tutorial that i usually do on myself i like to try new things when it comes to doing makeup but i'm always lazy and i feel like i don't feel like doing new stuff and plus because I'm not very good makeup. I I can't do makeup really well. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not a professional. I do have times that I just get really angry and I would just take my makeup off and not put any makeup. So I hardly do do put eyeliner on. And so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so you guys would not believe what just happened. I was recording and I had to start all over again because I the accident I clicked the retake button and everything got deleted. So I had to start all over again. Okay, but I could just explain it to you because I have my eyeshadow on right now. But I used this brush called the cream and I really recommend that you guys use it because it's absolutely awesome it makes my eyeshadow pop out and it makes my eyeshadow like really on point so as I was saying um the only colors the only colors I use are one are the the pink one this color this this one this one and this one i have not used the darker colors because i don't think the i don't think dark colors go with me and yeah but anyways the colors i have used the first color i used was silver and i will take it I'm going to demonstrate I'm going to demonstrate it, it again on my other eye for you to see. So I will take it and I will put it right here and that's when I will use a different color to mix it together. So this is how I normally do my makeup. Okay. So next, the way I do my makeup is, you see the crease line that you guys have? I will put my next color, which is a light purple, on it. And when I'm sure that I have enough of it on that line, that's when I would touch it 
and mix it with the other color that I have on. So I make sure I'm touching the line and then I will get the color pink, the pink eyeshadow, and I will also put it right here, but not like around my whole eye because I feel like it looks weird on me. But yeah. So I will put it here and then stop, then go back, and then just make a circle. And that's it. So I don't know if you can see the difference, but like you, I feel like you can see the color more, more better. Like it's popped out better. Next, <clears throat> as I was saying, I am not a very good makeup artist. So I use tape when I put eyeliner on, but this time I was trying a few minutes ago. I was trying it with a pencil because when I use tape, it comes out weird sometimes. So, I use my eyeliner pencil. I use my eyeliner pencil. It's co The color is Future Black. And it's from... I'm sorry guys. It doesn't say where it's oh. It's from Mac and I highly recommend it because it's pretty good. And also if you ever run out of this, you you don't have to go and buy another eyeliner pencil because you would just be wasting your money and I found out a new way that you could still have liquid for the pencil and it's by putting it on water. My cousin showed me, well my aunt showed me that when you put this on water, more liquid comes out but when you put it on your eye, it's going to be there. Okay, so... The way you want to position your hand when you do eyeliner is like if you're going to hold a pencil. And so I will start. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. So I will start from right here. I will start from right there. And then, you see that line right there, right there, with that line, I will not connect it, but I would Go like first, okay. After I made that line, I will put more color here, and that's when I will make the line. And then, when I make the line on my eye, I will stop right there and then I will connect it. And I'm gonna show you what I mean. So, that's how I look, and
So that's how my eyeliner comes out when I use the tape. And I'm actually really happy because my eyeliner will never come out this way. And I am surprised. Surprised. But, okay, here's the sad thing about this. When I use this MAC, the color will come out. Like, the color will just come out. And I felt really disappointed because one day I had eyeliner on on school. And I noticed that the co the dark color was fading. So, that's why I have never used this again because the color was fading. And I really like this. Okay. So, when I do use it, I will do the line. And next, I will put my liquid eyeliner. It's from... Okay, it has no name, but it's from Ruby Kisses. And... Also the same thing for this. If it runs out, you could wet it and it will come. Okay. So... I will trace the line that I have made with the with the liquid eyeliner. That's what I would do. So that's how my eyeliner will come out. Oh my god, guys, you don't you don't know how happy I am because I have never ever in my whole life tried this before, and I think I am going to go to school on Monday like this because I am very happy. Okay, and oh, okay, I just forgot. That small thing right there. Okay, and the last thing I will use is my mascara. My mom really likes this mascara because she saw me wearing mascara one day and my eyelashes were pretty long. And this is from, it's called Mascara Movent Mutual Effect Effects. Yep. Oh, no. Excuse me. It's called Turb Ball. Turbalash, there. All Effects Motion Mascara. That's the name. And as I apply the mess, okay, because I'm gonna mess up. As I apply the makeup, I will hold it for like two or three seconds. I really don't know how much seconds I hold it, but I hold it for a pretty long while. So, if you want, you could count one, two, three, four, five, six. And 
then yeah and then I will use I will use Ka Von D everlasting lipstick and you guys have to buy it because it's really good it's only $20 in Sephora and this is the color that I use I forgot the name because each and every lipstick has a different name and it's like the one that I have is called Crime Sun Red and this is another one that I have and it's really good like I really love this a lot so anyways I hope you guys enjoy and watch this video and I'm sorry if this video wasn't good enough for your guys liking but I make my own videos and I like my videos if you guys don't if you guys won't support my videos then it's okay I won't cry cuz I really don't care anyways thanks a lot